welcome to the Chamber's inaugural Bedford County Business Hall of Fame Awards Luncheon. My name is Annette Godessart, and I'm pleased this year to be the chair of the Chamber's Board of Directors. We're very pleased to be able to expand our awards programming to provide this special showcase for our Hall of Fame Award, recognizing companies for their longevity, excellence, and impact on the region. We welcome this year's honorees, as well as representatives from past Hall of Fame award years. We are also pleased to recognize outstanding young professionals with our new Rising Star Award and to partner with the Rotary Clubs of Bedford and the Bedford Elks Lodge to spotlight their Citizen of the Year, as well as the new Bedford Sunrise Rotary's Service Above Self Scholarship Award. Thank you to our sponsors, community partners, and special events committees for your support and hard work towards this program. And thank you all to the Chamber Board of Directors for your continued leadership. I'll now turn our program over to our President and CEO, Kelly Goodman Schaefer, to recognize our sponsors. Enjoy your afternoon. It is so nice to see everybody. It's so nice to have a big group together here at the Bedford Springs again. It's so nice to see all of your faces below your noses and your bodies below your shoulders. We're not on Zoom today, so um, we're really thrilled to have you all here for our first you know, big event of 2022. Um, and celebrating our business community is truly one of our favorite things to do, so we are especially happy to have you all here today. This event would not be possible without our wonderful sponsors. Um, we want to give a huge thank you to our host, the Omni Bedford Springs Resort. We're so delighted to have a major awards event back here at the Omni, and a bunch of Omni managers are sitting right over here at this table, so thank you all so much for having us. Our table sponsors for this event are ECM Insurance Group and Layman Engineers. Thank you both for your support of this event. You can clap for them if you'd like. Our supporting sponsors are First National Bank and Keller Engineers. And our event partners who helped us with all the special touches um, of this event are Everett Flower Shop, Encore, ID Graphics, Sunny Oak Studios, and Impel Web Development. So thank you to all of those companies as well. And our presenting partner for the Hall of Fame Awards is Hyman Area Health System, which is continuing to expand here in Bedford County, now with offices in Bedford, Hyman, and Everett. We appreciate your ongoing commitment to our area and your wonderful partnership with the Chamber, and we thank you for your support of this new event. Please welcome the CEO of Hyman Family Health Center, Bill Curtis. Hello. Welcome everybody, how's everybody doing today? Good, good, that's good. Great looking group of people. So I'm very honored to come up here today and be able to you know, give a welcoming speech. And as business community, you know, we are working hard. We are dealing with uh, supply chain issues, uh, employee shortages, um, you know, employee wages, things of that nature. And so some of the things that I've been dealing with myself personally was, you know, you know employees, you know, getting them staffed, getting employees into our um, companies. Well, however, there's been a tactic out there. And I, you know, people want more money. And that's one of the big things that are happening right now. And the pay scale has changed greatly. And so I actually uh, decided I was going to try that tactic, too. And I went to my board of directors. And I told them I had three companies looking, you know, after me. And so I said, I'm going to need a raise to stay. And then as I was leaving, one of the board of directors asked me, uh, John Blackburn, what companies are looking after you? And I told him it was a gas, electric, and cable company. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad that worked. <laughs> All right, I'm a serious business now. The Chamber Awards recognizes excellence in our community and business. And as a recipient of recent awards, I appreciate business communities that celebrate one another. We are glad to support the Hall of Fame Awards in this new format as it provides another opportunity to shine a spotlight on the excellence and the impact of outstanding local businesses. HAC has been one of the companies that is a very great business partner to the community, and we continue to expand and serve the community, and we're proud to work together with other businesses in a chamber of leadership capacity. Once again, thank you very much, and you know, 
welcome everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. And now please welcome Pastor Brian Swain from Real Life Church, who also serves as the secretary on the Bedford County Chamber of Commerce Executive Committee for our invocation. Good afternoon as well. Beautiful day, beautiful occasion. And uh, we can just give thanks to begin with. Let's pray. Awesome, God. Thank you for our many, many blessings. And, and Lord, especially as we... Uh, have had so much bad news and stuff. We thank you, Lord, that we can take a break and, and honor and remember those who have made the difference for so long, Lord, in our community. We thank you for our community. We thank you for the freedom we enjoy. We thank you for each person that makes this community what it is. And Lord, I, I especially thank you that each person that's here has, is here to celebrate all of the accomplishments of of, of our community and, and the businesses. Lord, I, when I think of a hall of fame, that, that does speak of longevity. It speaks of a service. And Lord, we just uh, uh, remember that right now. But Lord, we also, I pray that we'd be inspired uh, by this time as we celebrate that we would also be encouraged and inspired to continue to maybe do our part, to leave a, a legacy in this community, just like the ones we honor today, we can each do our part. Lord, we do pray for those who are dealing with so many things. We pray for peace and, and safety in our world, especially for those who serve our country around the world. But Lord, we just ask your blessing on this occasion, and we also thank you for every person and Lord, we thank you for this food that we are going to be uh, enjoying as well. We just pray that we just keep our minds always grateful and thankful. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. As the Omni team begins to serve our first course, I would like to take a moment to share a special initiative with you and ask you for your help in making it a success. We are calling it the Million Minute Promise. We're launching a campaign today and we felt like at the Hall of Fame event, this would be the perfect place to do this. It will recognize the value of volunteer volunteerism and to encourage kindness in our communities. It's inspired by an ITV Good Morning Britain campaign and we're inviting Bedford County citizens led by our business community to pledge minutes rather than money toward being kind to one another and toward giving back to our community. As we begin to move away from the challenges of the pandemic and toward a new normal, we recognize that nonprofit and service organizations need volunteers more than ever, just as the fractures in our society are growing deeper. Through the Million Minutes campaign, we are partnering with our leadership Bedford County alumni, local school districts, service organizations, members and friends to illustrate the importance of servant leadership, not only to local causes, but to our own well-being. On this website that you can see up on your screen, you'll have the opportunity to share your pledge of the time that you may already be committing to volunteerism, along with the time that you expect to plan to spend toward this effort throughout 2022. You can share your name and your company or school, church, or other organization. And also on the site, you can find ways to volunteer through links to many of our avenues of service. There is no cost to this. We're not collecting anybody's personal data. You can do it anonymously if you want, and there are no consequences. We're not gonna come bang on your door and say, did you give your 15 minutes this week? But we just wanna use it to illustrate how much time, energy, and effort is being poured into our community by people like all of you. On your table, there's a QR code, and it's also on the back of your program with some more information. Our screen is um, our screen has the counter on it, and we thought today, March 4th, the only day of the year that's a sentence where you march forth into something good, this would be a great day with you, our leaders and influencers in our community, to launch this effort. So I'm going to ask our Citizen of the Year, Michael Meehan, to be the first person to put in his minutes. And I can imagine that it's probably a lot of minutes as he does a lot of things in the community. So let's see if he's able to do it. <clears throat> and then we would invite the rest of you over lunch or at your convenience to think about the time that you'll spend in service this year and add your minutes to our count. And our goal is in Bedford County, a million minutes of service. I'm excited to see how many minutes we can get just in this event. Darren might have to refresh them. Michael, you're not doing much work this year so far. 
Here we go. 20,640 minutes just from our Citizen of the Year. So we're excited to see throughout lunch how many minutes the rest of you plan to pledge. And uh, we'll be excited to share this with elementary schools and, and other service groups. So please join us in, in pledging your minutes and enjoy your lunch and the program will continue after your meal. Thank you. Okay, I'll just take that citation back, Mike. <laughs> thank you so much uh, for the opportunity to be here, and, and just thank you to the chamber. Uh, this, what, what these kind of events do, they highlight uh, truly who makes the economy uh, work in, in these small rural areas, and I really, really do appreciate this, and congratulations to all the award winners. There are certificates up here, and also we know we have uh, another award winner today in terms of the Citizen of the Year, and I'm very excited that uh, it's, it's my golfing buddy, as well as my office mate uh, here at the district office uh, with his insurance agency right next door. Mike, I just want to say congratulations. Uh, your, your volunteerism, everything you do for this community does not go unnoticed. And I really do appreciate everything from coaching my kid in, in uh, elementary basketball to everything we're able to do together in town. So thank you so much and congratulations to each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesse. At this time, I am very pleased to turn the program over to the Rotary Clubs of Bedford and the Bedford Elks Lodge for the presentation of the Citizen of the Year Award and the Sunrise Rotary's new Service Above Self Scholarship. I'd like to invite Kurt Morris, the president of the Evening Rotary Club, Katie Fink and Corin Woy-Smith, the co-presidents of the Sunrise Club, and representing the Bedford Elks will be um, our nominator of this year's Citizen of the Year, Alan Haar. Thank you, Kelly. There's Alan. There's Alan. Good afternoon. As Kelly said, I'm Kurt Morris. I'm president of the Evening Rotary Club, and I'm happy to be joined today by Katie Fink, uh, Corinne Roy-Smith, who are the co-presidents of the Sunrise Club, as well as Alan Haar, the past exalted ruler of the Bedford Elks, and the Citizen of the Year nominator. We are pleased to be here to present the Citizen of the Year Award during this prestigious event. It is appropriate for us to share this stage with the best of the best of the business community. Because our Citizen of the Year Award is traditionally a leader in Bedford County business and someone who gives back to the community in many ways. And this year is no exception. Michael Meehan is not a Bedford County native Eh, one strike against him. <laughs> but, <laughs> there's always that but, he has certainly adopted Bedford County as his home, and a home that he has been committed to improving and growing through his involvement in many civic and service organizations. 
Owner of the State Farm Office on Richard Street in Bedford, Michael was active in Sunrise Rotary, Bedford Presbyterian Church, Borough Municipal Authority, and much more. And as noted by his nominator, Alan Haar, Michael doesn't just show up, he leads. He's president of the DBI board, leading knight of the Bedford Elks, past president of the Bedford Lions Club. Michael takes on responsibility and gives his time, talent, and treasures bettering our community. And he does so with respect, integrity, and enthusiasm. He is a shining example of the rotary motto, service above self, as well as the Elks motto, Elks share, Elks care. We are pleased to present the 2022 Citizen of the Year Award to Michael Meehan. his office after the meeting when uh, the winner was chosen he didn't say a word he I, I've never <laughs> seen you speechless he just like it can't be it can't be but yes it is thank you so much okay. thank you so much Wow oh boy wow I, I you know I'm, I'm so nervous I came in here and I was got all nervous I was just like oh my gosh I'm gonna start fumbling my words and say things like Liberty Bibbity or some crazy stuff or something like that. So, um, uh, but no, I, you know, when I got, then I, everybody, I got to see everybody and I said, oh my gosh, what, all my friends, all these wonderful people here and it just kind of eased me. I feel like I'm part of the community. And, you know, when Michelle and I um, got married uh, 17 years ago, um, <clears throat> So this is a story, a funny story, so I'll just settle, I'll settle down here now. But uh, we got married 17 years ago. Um, I moved, we lived in Bedford, and Michelle said, now Michael, you're living in Bedford now. You've got to, you know, you gotta learn Pennsylvania. You gotta understand it. So we watched the news, watched local news, and Joe Murgo, and I saw the weather, and I was like, oh, okay, I learned where towns like Johnstown, and, and Dubois, and Altoona, and Bedford, you know, I got to see everything. And, um, well, then I was driving across the state, uh, you know, and I had to, uh, our car broke down, and I broke down, and I said, called Michelle, I said, hey, I'm going to have to spend the night somewhere. She goes, where are you? I said, well, I'm in Dubois. <laughs> and she said, what, what do you mean, Dubois? What the heck is Dubois? I said, I said Dubois. She goes, how far, what, where is it? I said, it's right by Punxsutawney, Dubois. She goes, Michael, spell it. I said, D-U-B-O-I-S, Dubois. She goes, Michael, that's Dubois. Don't ever tell anybody that story. You'll never be accepted, ever. So, no, I, you know. So uh, I do have to say thanks to several people. Um, I do want to thank all of my friends and uh, people that help in all these organizations I'm a part of, and all the people that, all of you that, that volunteer so many hours and make this community such a special place. It is not without all of your hard work and effort that this place is not going to be what it is. And it is, it is truly special. I've lived in 12 states. I've moved 25 times in my career. And um, this is home. I love it here. Um, so I'm so proud. And thank you to all of you with all the time you do. Um, I do want to thank my family. Uh, and I'm going to start with the I'll be good. <laughs> Just give me a second. I'm going to start with my family that um, they're not related to me, but they certainly make it go. That's uh, Christy Hall, Brittany Baum, and Brittany Thomas. I'm going to hold it together. Um, they, they are the backbone of State Farm, um, and they deserve all the, I'm, they allow me to do what I do. 
So I really appreciate you guys. All right, on to uh, my other real family. Uh, my father, <laughs> I would like to thank my father who, he passed away in August, um, but uh, I never realized what I would, what I, how much I learned from him after he was gone. So I love you, dad. All right, now to my father that's here. Um, my father-in-law, Jim, uh, you are an inspiration to me in how much you have been such an incredible volunteer and the countless hours you've given to the fair. And uh, you've always been treating me as a son. And I love you, Jim. Thank you. To, uh, to my, uh, my wonderful, wonderful mother-in-law, and she's surprised I said wonderful, because <laughs> usually there's another word in front of that. I won't say it in here, Sue, so I promise. Um, she is an absolute incredible inspiration to me and how kind and caring she is to every single person she meets. Uh, she's a truly loving, wonderful person, and I love you dearly, Sue. Thank you. And then to my mom, my wonderful mother, um, who has taught me in my life what it means to care for people. And she taught me it so well. She, she showed me it today, where she decided, said, well, I will fly up uh, today. And she, so she flew up this morning from Florida. I picked her up at La Trobe at 8.45 a.m. Uh, and we zipped down here, and she got her hair done, and we're all here. So <laughs> sorry, Mom, I had to throw it in there. And I'm sorry, last and not, certainly not least, and I'll wrap it up here, but to, uh, to The Rock, um, my absolute uh, best friend, a uh, person that allows me to do what I do. Uh, she's been with me in the good and bad. And we've got plenty of good and bad ahead of us, and we're going to stay together like we always do. I love you, Michelle. Thank you so much. Thank you to everybody. Thank you, too, for being recognized this. It means so much to me. I, and thank you so much for all you guys do, too. Thank you. I had to tell her to come up here beside me before we started. <laughs> the Sunrise Rotary is pleased to present a new scholarship recognizing one or more high school seniors for exhibiting service above self. The Rotary motto encourages servant leadership and connections with the community. We know how important it is for the future for our region to engage young people in service. We are pleased to recognize two students with our 2022 scholarships in the amount of $500 each. Clay McEnay is the president of Northern Bedford County High School senior class, student council and interact club, and participates in many extracurricular activities, but he is also very active in his community, giving volunteer hours to local churches, the Southern Cove Volunteer Fire Department, and Red Cross, among others. He plans to attend the University of Pittsburgh at Johnstown to study early childhood education, and he's gotten some good experience working with younger students with more than 1,000 hours as part of the After Three program at Northern. Clay, Clay, if you'd like to come up. Kirsten Baker is a high honor student at Tussie Mountain High School, and in addition to her academic and extracurricular pursuits, she is very active as a leader in 4-H. Not only does she mentor younger students in showmanship, she also worked to establish the Baker's Beef Scholarship to support students who show beef cattle. She also assists disabled and hospitalized individuals by tending to their yard work and providing fundraising and leadership efforts towards the fight against cancer through the Matt Baker Fund. 
She plans to attend Penn State next fall and hopes to pursue, pursue advanced degrees as well. We are so impressed by these outstanding students and are pleased to present the Bedford Sunrise Rotary Service Above Self Scholarship to Clay McWinay and Kirsten Baker. Kirsten, if you'd please come up. Want to say anything? No, it's okay. You don't have to. No, it's okay. Like, Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen such fear in someone's eyes. As, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and Michael, congratulations, and thank you for crying in public. I'm not the one that's going to do it today, so that's a good thing. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. Um, while we were discussing the importance of creating this new event to spotlight Hall of Fame honorees and developing this special program to recognize longtime business success and impact, we also thought about the ongoing conversation in our community about attracting and retra retaining our best and brightest young professionals. While we support that important initiative, we also recognize that we have outstanding young leaders in our community making a difference today in their companies, their industries, and their communities. And that's why we formed our Rising Star Award. We were overwhelmed with the response from the call for nominees. We received more than 30 recommendations of young professionals who are passionate about what they do, about working and serving in their communities here in Bedford County. We will be sharing the stories of many of those nominees on our social media platforms in the, in the coming weeks because we're so proud of all that they are accomplishing and exciting to see all um, of what those nominees will do in the, f in the future. We thank the representatives from several of our fellow Chambers of Commerce um, throughout the state who independently reviewed our nominations and selected our inaugural honorees. As a chamber and an educational foundation, we truly believe that the future of our region depends on the groundwork laid by our stalwart businesses like the ones in our Hall of Fame and also on those who are looking toward the future and serving in leadership roles of today and in the years to come. So we are delighted to recognize today with our Rising Star Award, Matthew Bullington and Caitlin Pennebaker. Matthew Bullington is co-owner of Bullington Financial Services, a graduate of Penn State University and Leadership Bedford County. He is active in the community, as you can see from his bio on the program. He doesn't spend all his time on the golf course. Matt decided to have a year of yes a few years ago, committing his time and talent to organizations like Rotary and the Chamber. And how lucky we are that he continues to say yes to serving in numerous leadership roles in our community, from Borough Council to the Chamber Executive Committee to actually playing Santa Claus at Christmas time. We are so proud to honor as a 2022 rising star, Matthew Bullington. I did prepare something today. Um, I tend to tell too many jokes sometimes, and that's not exactly what I should be doing today. It's exciting to be here today as we celebrate the achievements of so many businesses and individuals in our community. We are fortunate to live in a wonderful place like Bedford County, where an individual can pursue their career and passions, have a family, and be a part of our community without having to sacrifice one for the rest. While I strive to be successful in my vocation and doggedly pursue my passions, the great part about Bedford County is that I'm not unique. Many others could be likewise standing here today. I hope that this award continues to highlight individuals who contribute to our communities and make Bedford County a great place like it is. Since hearing of my selection, I've had time to reflect upon how I got to where I am. A few distinct revelations came to mind. First, my mother has always been a rel uh, relentless cheerleader of everything I've ever pursued. She al she's always believed in me long before I believed in myself. It's made all the difference along the way. Mom, thank you. 
Also, it turns out my father was right. <laughs> when I was an aimless teenager, ready to make the world my oyster without the faintest clue how, he would always quip, just get off the porch, meaning that any, any path I took was fine, so long as I went out and said yes to an opportunity. He was right. The best time to get started is now. The destination will likely change, but the successes and failures along the way have made me who, into who I was meant to be, who I was meant to become. And for nearly two decades, my big brother has been physically smaller. <laughs> he's always let me tag along, but he's never once let me win. A built-in best friend, competitor, and confidant has made all, the, all of my life significantly better. My family gave me these necessary tools to succeed and the independence to explore my passions. While this has certainly led to some degree of accomplishment, failures along the way have given me critical life lessons. A good failure has often been more valuable than an easy win. A good failure means that I've learned something and I won't soon forget it. Fortunately, over the years, I've had some spectacular failures. And most of the time, I only needed to touch that metaphorical hot stove once or twice. I hope I can continue to both succeed and fail, to learn things through the exploration of new opportunities, and be thankful to those who gave me the opportunity to say yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Caitlin Pennebaker is a graduate of Chestnut Ridge School District and Youth Leadership Bedford County as a 10th grader. At just 25 years old, she has accomplished more in business than many have in our region, building on her family's entrepreneurial legacy by learning the ropes at Bestway Pizza from her parents, Denny and Heather Pennebaker, while she was still in high school, and then opening her first Bestway Pizza restaurant in Somerset as a teenager, and now serving as regional manager between the Bedford and Somerset locations. She's built the social media reach and the community outreach of the businesses, supporting cancer patients, local nonprofits, and the future workforce by mentoring high school students. She is also a 2022 rising star of our business community. Please join me in congratulating Caitlin Pennebaker. Thank you, Kelly, for that. It is an honor to be up here. I didn't even know I was submitted as a person until Kelly called me telling me I'd won. But um, I was definitely speechless. I felt bad. I'm like, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. But I emailed you like, what, three times. I'm like, where is it at? What are we doing? But um, I would like to take this time to thank quite a few people. I wouldn't be where I am today without them. Um, my parents especially, they aren't here today. They had prior commitments. They're actually on vacation. But um, for trusting and believing in me to take over things, to make things more modern and more efficient. Um, the community, I wouldn't be where I, I wouldn't be able to do half the things I have done um, without the support. Bedford County really comes together and I love that about our town. That being said, I would like to thank the Chamber for providing tools and services to our local businesses. They go above and beyond and stay on top of things. Over the last couple years, it has really shown that supporting our community is what gets you through the hard times. Local is everything. Eat, shop, spend, and enjoy local have been things I have been really passionate about and trying to do more of lately. Looking at the statistics of Bedford, the employed population, average household income, and property values all have been going up. It is a great place to live and to raise a family. On another note, my employees at both stores play a big role in the success. They support all of my crazy promotions and ideas. 
Right now we have pickle pizza, so they, they, everyone's like, what is that? But having them allows me to oversee both places and spend more time with my son, Garrett. It has been a challenge trying to balance everything, being a new mom and trying to make sure everything's good. And, but um, also I would like to show appreciation to the people who picked me, thought I deserved this award, and Guy Berkeybaugh, the Somerset County um, Republican Party Chairman. He actually submitted me for this award. Um, this is my second award in the last six months, and it has pushed me to see that the end is not near. And I would like to end things with some goals for the next five years. We're coming up on celebrating 25 years in our Bedford store and 10 years in our Somerset store. So I would like to open another location, hopefully within the next five years, and continue growing and helping the community in different ways than we already do now. Like my dad always says, stick to the basics and what we're good at and the rest will come. Thank you. I think we can feel pretty good about the future of our business community. And now we turn to our Hall of Fame honorees. Our 2022 class of inductees are very different kinds of businesses, from hospitality to manufacturing, selling groceries to selling cars. But there are common themes among these business families. All have had to be visionary, creative, and collaborative. All talk about their teams as their families, and all have made a huge impact on our region. So I'm pleased to present our honorees in alphabetical order, beginning with creative Paltrusians. Bedford County does boast some of the best of the best in their industries, and Creative Paltrusions is certainly a significant part of making Bedford County known for excellence in fabrication and manufacturing. From one project to a major player, one man's vision to an international conglomerate, here is more of the story of Creative Paltrusions. The visionary and innovative story of Creative Paltrusions begins in 1973 in Bob Sweet's Juliana Street basement in Bedford. My father worked for Westinghouse at the time and a bid came across his desk for a dunnage bar and Westinghouse declined to quote it. And he said, well, I can make that. And Westinghouse told him, if you quote it, you're fired. He quoted it, won the bid from General Motors uh, left Westinghouse and set up shop over in northern Bedford and we were in production. Pultrusion is a process in which you're pulling in a straight line so your your product needs to be linear in nature and so uh, a lot of products that you can do in steel wood you're, you're able to do it in composite as well. In 1979, the company moved to the now sprawling complex in Allenbank, evolving and innovating with every new opportunity. Bob always raised the bar to take challenges, and that's one thing where Bob would always try to take on complex projects. And I think that's what we've succeeded of how we positioned the company to become a solutions provider of highly engineered systems and solutions. And creating a culture that has inspired employees to stay for decades. Family environment, a lot of us looked up to Bob. He was a father to us, you know, and uh, always taking challenges and working together as a team. That's why we've been successful, is the people, the foundations, and always working together as a team. You're measuring success when you don't have to sell a Mercedes to make payroll, which he did. <laughs> so, um, and now we measure success. Of course, we're owned by a UK company, so success is very different for us now. Um, but success was happy employees and making sure that you were making good money and you had happy employees. With a solid foundation and bright future, Bob Sweet's legacy lives on. We did it the right way. Didn't, we didn't take shortcuts, uh, and we did it honestly and fairly uh, to bond the trust between our partners and to keep that family-type honest environment uh, even though we become a world player. As we still very much say, if Bob were still here today, da da da, da this would happen. You know, so he's, he's very much in the conversations and he brought us up well. 
Congratulations to 2022 Bedford County Business Hall of Fame inductee, Creative Paltrusions. It's an honor to accept this award on behalf of so many individuals associated with the success of Creative Intrusions, or CP. First, I'd like to thank the Bedford County Chamber of Commerce, Kelly Schaefer, and her staff, and special recognition of our company, Creative Intrusions. Thank you, Kelly. Second, all of the wonderful individuals and organizations within Bedford County that have supported our company over the years. We truly appreciate this support and partnerships we have developed. Thank you, Bedford County. I would also like to uh, congratulate Michael, uh, Kirsten and Clay, Caitlin and Matthew for your uh, awards. I'd also like to pay tribute and congratulate and recognize the other three Hall of Fame honorees today. Everett Food Liner, Ed Steakhouse Restaurant, and the Thomas Automotive Group. Like CP, these Bedford County businesses have a long tradition and share a lot of the same values of CP. Congratulate, congratulations to each of you and your employees. Special thanks to the following. I wouldn't be standing here today accepting this award if it wasn't for Bob Sweet. His vision, courage to start Creative Protrusions almost 50 years ago in 1973. Bob always rose to the challenge in front of him. He made an extraordinary impact on so many people including a lot of local individuals in attendance today. In addition, he challenged and uniquely molded many CP employees, including myself. Kelly asked me when we visited her office through the video how I got to know Bob. I met Bob sitting with him along the sidelines in the Chestnut Ridge Gymnasium during JV basketball games. Bob couldn't go up in the stands due to his polio, so he would sit in the front row of the gym. I developed a strong bond with him, had the privilege of receiving Bob's full encouragement when I would depart to the locker room to prepare for the varsity game. I always found it motivating when he would encourage me to do well with these closing words. Give them hell, kid. <laughs> After high school, I went off to college. The day before my graduation from Frostburg State University, Bob called my mother on a Friday afternoon to ask me to interview for a sales position at CP. From this first and only interview, I started my career with Bob the following week on June 1st, 1989. I would like to thank Bob for believing in me and my team here today, of allowing us to start what he, finished, what he started and allowing us to take it forward, the CP management team to move the company forward the past 20 years. Thank you, Bob. To all the employees that have made CP the past 49 years, too many to list, Thank you for pulling together and making CP what it is today with your dedication, sacrifices, support. We have shared a lot of good times and will continue forward with the family tradition that Bob started at CP for years to come. Thank you. To my wonderful management team attending today's event, we have been together for the past 20 years, elevating CP to new horizons 
Positioning CP as a world player and refining the fundamentals that Bob started in 1973. Thank you each, Percy, Greg, Ronnie, John, Dustin, and Corey. Through our one team approach, the success we have achieved together has been remarkable. Bob would be very proud of each of you. All of you have become my business brothers and sisters. We have come a long way together over the years in CP. Thank you each. Thank you to Hill and Smith PLC Holdings, especially Derek Murr, who believed in the vision established by Bob and CP. And in September of 2008, the acquisition allowed us to continue our goals through supporting our capital needs while managing and growing our company into a world-class organization. Thank you to our four sister companies and the original owners of ET Tectonics, Kenway Composites, Tower Tech, and Composite Advantage. Sometimes we face challenges during the transition into a more extensive group Still, together, we saw the light at the end of the tunnel. We made the sacrifices needed by believing in our shared vision. As a result, our CP family has grown since 2016 to develop and introduce the Creative Composites Group, a world-leading provider of co composite systems and solutions in the 21st century. Thank you to all our customers over the years. CP wouldn't exist today without you. We appreciate the opportunity to serve your needs over the past 49 years and years to come. To all our suppliers and partners, thank you for believing in Bob's vision since day one and standing beside us to service our customer needs the past 49 years. I also would like to thank God for touching each person associated with today's event as we celebrate this recognition. God has provided a game plan that has made the CP team successful. Through what we are today and for years to come, we truly have been blessed. In closing, thank you again for this wonderful achievement and everyone involved in our journey and the recognition by those who have elected Creative Protrusions as a 2022 Hall of Fame inductee. Thank you each. Shane told me when we were interviewing that he was just going to work at CP for one year, then go back to law school. So I guess someday he might still go back to law school, right? <laughs> all these years later. <clears throat> our next honoree is a first for our Hall of Fame awards. We have never before honored a business that is no longer in business. But Ed's Steakhouse is a very unique case. The McDevitt family legacy deserves this special recognition for 67 years of hospitality, but also for excellence in tourism and economic development, as well as their commitment to being a good employer and giving back to the community. Here's more of the story of Ed's Steakhouse. The year was 1953. Bedford businessman Ed McDevitt saw the development of the Pennsylvania Turnpike and dreamed of a full-scale restaurant and cocktail lounge at the new exit just north of downtown Bedford. Many said it wouldn't work. Yeah, because at the time town was the hot spot and the interchange was new and there wasn't a lot of activity out there. I know that he wanted it to be high quality, full service, um, lots of options. His menus were huge. Um, he did lots of hours, opened very early, stayed open very late. Ed and his wife Ruth took the leap, investing $100,000 in a state-of-the-art building and launching what would become a favorite dining and meeting spot for travelers and locals alike. Breakfast for as little as 35 cents, dinners for $1.50. Ed's became an anchor of the busy Bedford Turnpike Exchange and a successful business for three generations of the McDevitt family. In the very beginning, it was just one dining room and what we called the coffee shop and uh, for the time it was a nice sized kitchen and then it was added on to over and over throughout the years um, you know more dining rooms uh, more kitchen space and um, within the last 20 years my wife and I went through and remodeled each dining room to freshen things up so it was just added on to over and over as you know as it was needed 
than as we were able to do it. But yeah, much bigger footprint than what we started with. Ed's has welcomed all kinds of customers over the years. Friends catching up over coffee, tourists breaking their travels for a home-cooked meal. From family gatherings to business functions, Ed's has been part of local traditions for 67 years. While the times changed, their values never wavered. You know, if you're customer focused and take care of the customers, serve quality food, uh, quality service, that everything else kind of takes care of itself. You know, you can, you can steer it in a direction you want to, but it all comes back to that. The McDevitt's chapter of Ed's Steakhouse ended on January 2nd, creating an opportunity for a new owner to write their own story here. But the family leaves behind valued business associations, special friendships and cherished memories created around their dining room tables and a lasting family legacy of visionary hospitality. I hope that they think that, that you know, we provided excellent service at, at a reasonable price and that they have fond memories of coming to see us. The, the, all of the good memories come back to the, the people that I was working with and the people that we were serving. Um, and that's what makes the big difference. Congratulations to 2022 Bedford County Business Hall of Fame inductee, Ed Steakhouse. <laughs>
25 years later. It's grown into what I think the nicest grocery store in Bedford County is in Saxton. It's also the newest, so we're pretty proud of that. While many family-owned grocery stores have succumbed to industry challenges and big chain operations, the Everett Food Liner has survived and thrived, providing the region with a modern supermarket, generous community contributions, and stable employment. Many on their tight-knit team have been there for decades. I hope every employer thinks he has the best employees. I hate to tell them they don't, because I do. I have people that's been there longer than I have, or as long as I've been there. And that's unheard of in the grocery business. But we believe in taking care of our employees, and, and in return, they take great care of us. With a commitment to their employees and the community, Everett Food Liner and Saxton Market continue to set an example of excellence that will leave a lasting mark on Bedford County. I hope we're remembered as fair people more than anything. Um, just treating people good, treat, treating everybody the same. I, I hope we're remembered basically as good old Bedford County boys is what I really want. Congratulations to 2022 Bedford County Business Hall of Fame inductee, Everett Foodliner. First off, I thought everything up there, I thought I was done for the day. Again, just thanks to everybody. Thanks to Kelly and her staff for giving us this opportunity to be here today. It's always been a true pleasure to serve Bedford County. So thank you. Hey, Bob, Joe, Joe, do you want to take you with me? Here, right here. <laughs> he had one job, one job, right? <laughs> Most people who live in Bedford County cannot remember a time without Thomas Automotive. The century-old car sales and service company is a reflection of the business community and the evolution of the automobile. But it also provides an ongoing window into the future of the industry. Thomas's is a leader in the car business and in the community, and a little known fact, they once saved an Elvis show by repairing his band's broken down van off of the turnpike. But they have so many more claims to fame as well. Here's the story of Thomas Automotive. The Thomas family has been in the car business almost as long as there have been cars. My great-grandfather was a blacksmith up in Cambria County, and uh, this was around the turn of the century, the last century, the 1900s. And uh, uh, when cars came out, he sort of figured that uh, shoeing horses was going to go downhill. And so I uh, signed up with uh, Ford Motor Company and started selling the Model T. Uh, after the war, uh, we switched to Chevrolet in 1919, and then we've been with uh, Chevrolet ever since. The company came to Bedford in 1939 and continued to grow. And, and the business is one that's a consolidating business, um, always looking for more efficiencies, and it sort of makes you get larger so that you can share costs and lower the cost to the consumer. And so over the years, we've added other locations and other brands. Um, and just tried to uh, get more efficient and, and uh, have more things to offer to our customers. They also continued to evolve and innovate. A reaction to reality and how the business is getting more and more complex. And so it's real important that we have a real strong um, team 
that leads our company and it has different skill sets and that the right people are in the right seat. And uh, I'm proud now that we're in the position that we have a leadership team that we can mark, make Mark's visions realities. Mark's quite a visionary and um, I like to say he's like three, three to five years ahead of the rest of the industry and in his ideas. And you know, Stephanie does a great job leading that whole effort, and but she's got a really strong team around her with people with, with different skill sets, whether it's in finance and accounting or marketing or operations or organizational development and IT and HR and all of the above. It's just, it takes it all uh, to, uh, to compete in, in now and really in the future. And they don't just sell cars. Thomas's gives back to the community, from the region's premier wrestling tournament to the Athena Award, and so much more. We've always believed that, you know, we derive our income from the community, uh, we live among the people we serve. We just have to be part of it uh, as best we can. And uh, just means participation, I think, more than anything, wherever we can participate in things that are important to to our friends and our neighbors and our relatives, you know, we just want to be a part of it as best we can. What are you most proud of about all that Thomas is? Oh my, uh, people that have uh, reached some of their own um, life objectives and goals uh, by being part of our company and coming in and growing with the company and, uh, and with the community. It sounds trite, but it's so true. But uh, it is the people that make the difference. Congratulations to 2022 Bedford County Business Hall of Fame inductee, Thomas Automotive. Jesse said, hurry up, he's got a tea time. So I'll, I'll be very brief. I, or he already leaved. I think. Uh, no, seriously, uh, it's just, it's an honor to be in the same room uh, with these other companies and with our Citizen of the Year and our rising stars and, and our student leaders. It, it just uh, it feels good to be part of Bedford County and, and everything that's going on here. And so uh, um, I just want to thank everybody. and. In particular, uh, recognize uh, members of our team at, uh, on tables 10 and 11 back there. We have uh, our leadership team that's going to carry us, hopefully, for the next 100 years. Uh, but uh, also, an, uh, especially important, uh, and I think I'm especially proud of, uh, a whole group of our uh, longtime co-workers have been with us three decades, some of them and all of them. Uh, that are here with us today over two decades, so uh, I'd like to recognize them. And then finally, just uh, want to thank uh, Kelly and her board of directors and the chamber uh, for this honor, but even more than that, uh, for everything that you do for Bedford County. Um, I know uh, many years ago now that we started uh, the chamber, and I can tell you that we had no idea that it would ever become this large, this successful, put on this many events, uh, do this many services for the county. And I think it's just a real gem of Bedford County as the Bedford County Chamber. So thank you very much. So our new Hall of Fame award installation will recognize the honorees dating back to 1998 when we first started giving this award annually at our traditional annual dinner. So we wanted to give each historical honoree a standardized plaque to display in their businesses. The award was designed by Corey Meckes of ID Graphics. It's made of oak and reflects the Bedford County flag with permission from the Historical Society who owns the copyright. The full description is in the program for your review, but we love that the intertwined branches of mountain laurel and oak symbolize diverse citizens coming together to form a community, and that the material of oak represents longevity, stability, power, strength, endurance, honesty, and justice, all values we hold dear and all values that are among the best of our business community, including our Hall of Fame honorees. As we call your names, if the 2022 honorees would please join us again on stage along with representatives from our past for a group photo, and we'll give you all a new plaque for display. 
Um, we're going to go back to 1998, Nisley and Sons. I know there's folks here from Nisley and Sons. Come on up. New Enterprise, Stone and Lime. Come on up. Reed Wirtz and Roadman. Kenna Metal, Headstrom, Blackburn Russell, Gateway, Cannondale, Morris International, McFarland Furniture, Bedford Reinforced Plastics, Bedford Grange Mutual, UPMC Bedford, the Bedford Elks Country Club, Everett Cash Mutual, Broadtop Bulletin, Clark Contractors, Morrison's Cove Herald, Bedford Gazette, Allegheny College of Maryland, and Layman Engineers. And of course, this year's honorees, Creative Paltrusions, Ed Steakhouse, Everett Foodliner, and Thomas Automotive. Um, but when we talk about doing our awards, we can't think of anything that could be more exciting or inspira inspiring than our own businesses. So that's why we make you our keynote speakers, because there's nothing better than hearing our businesses tell our story. So congratulations to all of today's honorees. Thank you to the Bedford Elks Lodge and the Rotary Clubs of Bedford for allowing us to be part of sharing the Citizen of the Year Award and your new scholarships. We do invite all of the honorees, if you'd like to have um, other additional um, pictures um, taken at the end or group pictures to stay for a minute to do that. And um, we thank you all so much for being members and partners of the Chamber of Commerce. We're so proud to work with you and for you. Thank you so much for our team, Sarah Ferrari, who does such a phenomenal job putting on all of our parties. And when she throws a party, people show up. So we were very <laughs> fortunate. So thank you, Sarah. And to Deanna Weaverling, who's enjoying a much deserved day off after putting our directory to bed, which you'll all get next week in the mail, and to Bob Octavio, our bookkeeper, and our boards of directors for both the chamber and the foundation. We're so proud to work with all of you. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon and your weekend, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.